Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Quest again with your weekly vapor reviews. I know I say weekly and I took a week off last week. Um, I got new piercings and I needed to let them heal, so I gave them a week. Sorry about the delay, guys. Uh, but this week I got a few new flavors from Blue Monkey in Montgomery Mall. And they are from the Vintage line, which is actually really nifty because they have these nifty little novelty, uh, if you can open them, uh, Zippo lighter like cases, which is actually really cool. Uh, but I have three flavors for us today. I have the Lover, which is a papaya, guava, and orange flavor. It smells fantastic. I haven't had a chance to hit it yet, so I don't know. Uh, I also picked up the Drifter, which is tangerine, custard, cream, and vanilla. So I remember. And then Seeker, which is winter pear and toasted almonds. So all of these flavors sound pretty good, but they also sound really complex. So I can't wait to give them a shot and see how this works out for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with... Uh, the lover now as always reload DNA 200 uh, <coughs> it's set at a hundred watts right now currently because my uh, coils are coming in at 0.24 uh, they're the um, the same ones I bought the last time from you know visible vapors or the pre-built Clapton's they're actually really nice but the the ohms tend to be a little higher than what I'm used to. Yeah, my hair is a freaking mess today. Sorry, guys. Maybe I should put on a hat. Uh, maybe next time. All right. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start with the lever. Uh, let me make sure this is clear. Hold on. Yep, that's pretty good. Dripping some of uh, you know example box from last time. All right, so a couple good drips of this. Now, I do love these bottles just because they're just so interesting. Like, you know, I, I, I haven't seen anything like this before. It's, you know, that's the bottle. You know, it's a, a Zippo style, which is actually really nice. Spring-loaded case, uh, lid, whatever the case may be. Ugh. I'm having a hard time talking today, guys. Sorry. Uh, new piercings. It's great. I can't whistle anymore. I learned this the other day. I can't whistle. Kind of makes me mad. Uh, but anyway. All right. So this is the papaya, orange, and guava. Now, all of these sound... I need to put a little bit more on there. That looks dry still. Uh, all, all of that sounds fantastic, uh, but I have absolutely no idea. I mean, it smells good. As soon as you open the bottle, it smells fantastic. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. Good vapor production on this. Uh, according to what I remember reading, it was a 60-40, uh, 60 VG, 40 PG. Uh, has a little bit of a throat hit, but not much. Uh, I honestly cannot pinpoint any of the flavors on here, mainly because I don't know what some of them taste like by themselves. Papaya and guava? Not really sure what they taste like by themselves. So I, I could be tasting them individually. I could not be. I do get hints of orange in that, though. That I do know. I do get a little bit of hint of orange, especially on the uh, the exhale. Overall, very fantastic, very fruity, uh, floral even. Like, it, it almost has a floral scent to it, like if you exhale through the nose. Uh, so it's it, it's a fantastic flavor. I definitely recommend it. The price isn't too bad for a 15 ml bottle. It's like 12 bucks, something like that. Uh, so honestly, it's not terrible. I would definitely look into them, especially at least once, because these bottles are just nifty. I mean, I don't care if I ever refill this and reuse this bottle. I'd keep it just for the novelty, because that's freaking awesome. That's Lover. Yeah, that tastes lovely. Uh, I actually really enjoy that flavor. Uh, the next one I got is Drifter, which, like I said, is the tangerine, custard, cream, and vanilla. Uh, so it's most likely going to come in tasting like an orange creamsicle, uh, which we know I actually enjoy orange creamsicle. It smells like an orange dreamsicle. Yes, I said dreamsicle that time uh, because there was a difference between the creamsicles and the dreamsicles. But this 
smells like an orange dreamsicle. So I, I can't wait to give that one a shot. The um, the Seeker, which is the um, winter pear and toasted almond, has a very interesting smell to it. Uh, I don't know what to take of that smell just yet. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. Ugh, excuse me. I got some NOS in the other room. A little burp. Trying to blow past the camera. I'm learning. Don't fuck out the cl the crowd. Do enough of that when I go out to the bar. All right. So now for the drifter. I keep wanting to close it like I do a Zippo, but it's got that catch on the lid, so you can't quite close it like a Zippo. It's interesting, but it's cool. It's still, it's still the, the novelty of it is just really interesting to me. I said I'm learning not to fog out the crowd, and then I do it. Um, very good flavor on that. It definitely has a very creamy taste to it. Um, definitely getting hints of the tangerine, orange, whatever the case may be on that. It's not overpowering. It mixes very well with the custard and the cream. And little hints of vanilla. Very, very little hints of vanilla. Definitely has a, that citrus uh, throat hit that you get from like oranges and lemons and limes and things like that. So it definitely has that citrus throat hit to it. Uh, I will recommend that flavor if that's your kind of thing. Um, I, I I would vape on that when I've got very little else to vip on, to vip to vape on. Um, because while it is delicious, it's not a hundred percent my thing. Like I've had better creamsicle flavors, if you will, orange creamsicle flavors. But that one is actually pretty good. So I'm going to hesitantly recommend that. Does have a little bit of a chemically taste to it. Um, but, you know, nobody's perfect. Everyone has, every, every flavor, every maker out there is going to have, you know, a... a a chemically taste to a certain extent. It depends on what, how bad it is. Like the one I had from the sample box that, uh, that berries and menthol. I, I still have that full bottle. I have not touched it. I just, I can't do it. That one's good though. I recommend that. That's Drifter, uh, Vic, uh, Vintage, Vic, Victory, uh, Vintage e-liquids. Uh, so again, I will recommend it. Um, if you like that kind of thing. And the last flavor we have today is the Seeker, which is the, like I said, pear, uh, winter pear and toasted almond. <laughs> you saw nothing. Uh, but this, in, this one smells really interesting. I'm kind of excited to try this one just because it's so different. I haven't done a pear flavor in a while. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. An almond. I mean, almond, really. Very mild flavor on that. It's hard to distinguish the pear from the almond. Um, it's a very complex flavor. It's very tasty. Uh, I definitely am going to say yes on that flavor. Uh, the Lover is probably my favorite thus far. Uh, definitely, hands down, I'm, I'm going to give it to Lovers on this one. Uh, but... This one is a very complex, very mild flavor, which is interesting. Uh, you can taste the almond a little bit, and you can definitely taste the, the winter pear just a little bit as well. Um, it kind of overpowers the almonds, uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because the almond sounds like it was put in there as a, kind of an afterthought. But it's actually very good. Uh, I will recommend that flavor, great vapor production, and I really don't know what else to say. I mean, it's, it's really good. So that's what I've got for you this week. Um, stay tuned. I'll have a new review up next week. And as always, have a great week and vape on.